Well, in a story that comes straight from the heart, three years ago, four brothers lost their father to cancer. But before he passed, his medical bills began piling up. So they started a fundraising effort, which they're now doing again to help others in a similar situation. Kayla Solomon joins us in studio with their story. Kayla. Chelsea, the Garretson brothers say their love for barbecue is what inspired the original fundraiser. And now they're looking to raise money for another family who has medical costs to pay for. It's a story that comes straight from the heart. These days, Charlie and Ben Garretson come to a farm in Macon County to get away. But three years ago, they say it was much different. My dad was going through his treatment. We wanted to think of an idea of something he could be a part of uh, in his state. Their father, Gary, was diagnosed with leukemia, and Ben says the medical bills soon followed. Through that experience, we were able to realize what the monetary side of cancer does for people. So the idea of a fundraiser was born, a way to both spend time with their father and help alleviate some of those medical costs. He also loved his family and his boys, and part of that was we, when we got together, we cooked. My dad loved barbecue and chicken. The idea, sell barbecue pork butts and accept monetary donations. The first time we sold 146 butts, um, they were $35 a piece, and we raised a little over $20,000. This time, we've sold 76 butts and raised almost $9,000. This time, the funds are for the Vickers family. Jacob was diagnosed with colon cancer a little over a year ago, and... Uh, we lost him, unfortunately, two days ago. Jacob Vickers was a friend of the Garretsons, and between pork sales and monetary donations, they've raised almost $9,000 for the family. It's anything that can take away off of their mind that can help them focus on their recovery or their fight or whatever it can be, that's our goal. The Garretsons say the pork sales are no longer going on, but they will be accepting monetary donations until Sunday afternoon. Chelsea, back to you. All right, thanks, Kayla. The Garrison say they are open to doing other barbecue fundraisers for people in the community in the future.